the one thing that I, I've really wanted to ask you was uh, this Anna de Armas. Where would you take her out on a date? <laughs> it's got to be cocktails. <laughs> Because, <laughs> because you know, I don't know if this is appropriate for YouTube, but it always works. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm sitting here with John Clark, better known as Haphazard Stuff. You may know of, about his channel, or you may not know about his channel. I hope you do, because he was my biggest inspiration. And uh, I'm I've always sitting down with him, having some casual conversations, and now we decided to record one of them and discuss the No Time to Die trailer. How do you feel, John? I feel pretty good and pretty excited to discuss this long-awaited look at yeah. No Time to Die with you. Plenty to talk about, so uh, let's just dive right into it. Let's dive. <laughs> so, I saw your reaction to the trailer. Yeah. Your, your video reaction, but uh, your overall thoughts, did that, that pretty much encapsulate it? Like, it's been uh, a day or two since, like, you did that. Are you still feeling the same way, very positive and stuff? Very positive. It's The trailer had so much in it. Um, it, it was just filled with content, and I just looked just before this conversation. I just looked at it again, and I keep f seeing things like, "Oh yeah, no, that didn't really register with me." There's just there's too much, and not not too much, but there's so much going on in it. It's I, I it's a really good trailer, but I'm I'm very curious to hear uh, what you thought thought of it. Well, uh, all right, so like it, like we know like we've been really put through the mill with like you know like since specter came out and like you know all the news and stuff about no time to die all the bad all the bad news like you know the yeah. production problems and all this stuff I, it was just a laundry list of you know danny boyle tampons uh craig's injury uh explosions on set like you know is it getting woke and all this stuff yeah and i was i was on the skeptical train for a long time, and I, think I didn't. A lot of us were, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was very worried about this movie, and I didn't think like a trailer could like reverse that. One single trailer would reverse those feelings, but it, but this trailer I think did more, um, more than I thought it would to like remedy a lot of my concerns for it, for this movie. I think it looked. I think the trailer looked pretty good. I'm not completely sold. I'm not completely convinced just yet. I'm not willing to like you know, say, okay, now th this is great. I'm hyped. I'm uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm on board. You're I being still have cautious, basically. Yeah, uh, yeah, cautiously optimistic, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, because like you know, we know like you know, bad movies could have good trailers, and like you know, good movies could have lousy trailers. Like we've seen that even with like the James Bond films. Yeah. Um. So it, it looked good. Don't get me wrong. I, I thought a lot of it l looked really impressive. And, like, you know, it got me more. Uh, it, it ignited some excitement in me to see this thing. But there's other things that I'm still I'm still wary about, which I think we'll probably get into. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but th there was a lot. Um, like you said, it, it had a lot of stuff in that that trailer and um, a lot of it looked really good. Um, it, it was also, I, I didn't expect it to be that long. I yeah, no, me too. It, it, it was funny because I remember just a few days before we were kind of expecting a first teaser. Like, you remember the first teaser in Spectre? It was basically just the, the Spectre ballroom and yeah. much, uh, not much else. 
It was like. But I guess like, the teaser yeah. we now got was, you know, the teaser of the trailer itself. That was kind of our teaser this year. It, and it was good. We just immediately got a full on trailer, a really long one. Too. Yeah, I, I didn't even feel like. Yeah, it felt like. Um, like I was expecting something maybe a minute, a minute and a half. This yeah. is this is this is what I, I I would have thought we would have gotten closer to April. Exactly. Like this was like yeah. two and a half full minutes. And um, in fact, I don't even think like I'd be fine if they didn't release another trailer. No, no, I was just thinking the same. Like um, we already got a lot out of this one, um, and I imagine if they release a second one, it will probably be shorter than this one, because they've already shown us a lot of stuff now. Or at least like they they they've intrigued me enough that I don't think I need to see any more. They don't have to yeah. give away any more details about a lot of this stuff. Yeah, um, I, I guess the only thing that was missing was the um, the inclusion of like um, that Billy Magnuson kid. I don't well, know anything about them. I don't even know if they're still in this movie. I haven't seen anything about them. I guess if if they do a second trailer, maybe we'll see something about them because. Because you remember on the, the, the Jamaica press conference thing, you know, we, we saw all the actors that were in there, and yeah. these two were in there as well, but I haven't heard anything about... Also, in these, these past couple of months about the production and stuff, I haven't seen any behind-the-scenes photos of these guys. I don't even know if they're still in there. <laughs> they, they they must have, like, pretty minor parts, I, guess, I would think. Yeah. Like, a scene or two, like, they're the uh, the guys who, like, you know, give M some problems about, hey, you got to reel this 007 yeah. in. This is, like, you know, yeah, yeah. the bureaucratic government guys and stuff. Yeah, yeah, kind of the, the Max Danby of this this film. You know, the the guy that, that uh, inspector that, that played C. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There was so much that they did show us. Um, and especially, I like the part with the... Uh, the DB5 with the, the Gatling guns spinning around and that they showed at the end. We shot it in the tears too, but all of that stuff looks pretty badass. I'll, 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 I'll say this about the DB5. And like, I, I think you know my feelings about the DB5 and like yeah, how, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm, a re, I'm a real complainer about them bringing this out and like using it as like this nostalgic yeah. crutch and like they bring it out and like you know hey bond opens it and like he'll pose next to it and like all the audience will go whoo i recognize that oh great you know yeah no that's so true. so like i i, I was I, i've been kind of tired i'm burnt out on the db5 but I, yeah, I, I, a lot I, of fans I, are i think you know craig has driven it more than connery has at this i point. know it's kind of ridiculous yeah. um but like the fact that i accepted that it was going to be in it in this because it was going to be a connection to like specter like you know, okay the ending of specter they drive off okay we're going to see the db5 yeah. in this and i was in, I, I was surprised that it, it's it was hard not to get a thrill out of seeing it being used in that way it wasn't yeah. just like sitting in the background in q's workshop just like you know no exactly and the, and the gatling guns out of the the actual headlights that's something new you know usually yeah, it's like, the machine guns out of the tiny the tiny fog li lights yeah, they, they change. They got a little change in it, and it's actually incorporated into some action. Like we're gonna yeah. see this thing. I don't even think like to, wh when was the most action-packed sequence we yeah, ever saw with the DB5. Goldfinger and maybe yeah. Golden Eye. You know, Golden Eye. Yeah, yeah, and that was just the car chase and everything. Yeah. But this thing looks like it's gonna kill guys. We're gonna see more guns, like we saw a Skyfall. There, it's gonna take out some yeah. guys with guns. But it's also going to look like it's going to get tore apart in a in a car chase. I mean, yeah. like I saw the dents on this thing. It looks like it's going to get, you know, it's going to get really used and battered and everything. So yeah, and I, I think uh, my theory is it's going to start um, with the Italy scenes. I think that's my guess is that will be the pre-title sequence, and maybe they'll they'll do that as. Kind of like the golden eye thing where the pre-title sequence was taking place in the past and yeah. then you know, they'll do a time skip i think they they have something like that going on like like the pre-title sequence will be shortly after specter maybe a couple of months later and then because my, my reason for thinking this is because in the trailer you know there's the part where bonds sees madeline again yeah. and he's really I'm... surprised like it's like it's been a while since he saw her like they, they've been separated for years or something uh, so i think yeah. they'll do a time skip i don't know she thinks she's working at mi6 it looks like she's almost yeah she's or, the... or, or or she's been brought in or something yeah for, for whatever reason but oh. you know she, she carries a secret 
maybe um, Lashana has tracked her down because he's standing right next to her um, when they bring Bond in. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of guessing work at this point. Her past. So, like, her past. Madeline's past. Is this... You think this is going back to the Spectre thing? Like, her, yeah. her on the train? Yeah, that's what I said in my... Um, um, that video I did on, on my trailer reaction. Because there's this scene in Inspector where she talks about you know, a man coming to her house when she was a little girl. But she she ended up shooting that guy, I think. But either she yeah. was talking about Remy Malik's character or someone related to, to Remy Malik's character. But I think it, it's, it's something along those lines. You know, the, all the scenes we see in Norway, that's I think a lot of that could be flashback stuff about her past but like you you know what i was thinking like that's the only thing like um that we kind of know about her past that they could kind of hook onto to, for a story like that yeah. little anecdote that she has do you think the general audience who saw specter five years ago will they remember any of that no that? i don't think so no that's that's just i but for me, that's fine. Casual fans could probably still pick up on this movie and, and enjoy it. And, and for Bond fans, you got the little extras. You know, we, we remember Blofeld. We know who Madeline is. It's the way it is, I guess, when you do a continuity thing. Especially when you make these gaps so long. You know, I guess that's the price they pay for it. <laughs> the, um, like, I, I, I'm not sure if you want to say, but how did you feel about Madeline in Spectre? Yeah, um... <laughs> Again, I, yeah, tell. I, I, I don't I never really had such a strong opinion on it. Her her appearance to me is kind of bland. Like, you know, um yeah, how do you I explain this? It's you know, you it's kind of like, oh yeah, she is attractive. You 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 could see something in her, but you may as well not. It's it's and um they tried really, you know, but what I did like was that they made her the, the daughter of a character we already that was already kind of established to give her a little bit more. Yeah. You know, I think that was like the only thing significant had, about yeah. her. The only thing interesting about her was like, you know, uh interesting by association, being the yeah. daughter of Mr. White. And like she if she if she wasn't if they dropped that, she would have just been completely forgettable to me. There wouldn't have been anything significant or special about this girl. Yeah, uh, no, that's that's my feeling as well. Um, so it was kind of weird to see Bond all of a sudden fall in love with her, you know, even though we had the whole Vesper thing already. But I do have to say, I do, I do not mind that they brought her back. I think, you know, she's actually probably the first actress to ever return. No, 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 you got Sylvia well, Trent yeah, and stuff and, and Maude Adams. And, but I mean, like, an actual main Bond girl returning in a, in a you know, a, a yeah. subsequent film. I think that's the first. And I do like that. And, and who knows, you know, there might be some new secrets they re reveal here. We are familiar with her, so I guess it could work in uh, her advantage. But, uh, yeah, very curious. Uh, you know, um, Christoph Waltz is in this. I'm trying to practice my Christoph Waltz impression. <laughs> because like you know, yeah. And like in the trailer, like he says something like "Glorious uh, Bastards," kind of. A... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that's how I know him. He says, "Well, you, Mister Bond, you don't know Madeline very good because yeah. she has passed." <laughs> like. <yeah. laughs> and what'd you think of that that scene of uh, of um, him finally confronting Blofeld yeah, back no, in the Yeah, interesting, place? interesting, and it seems like. I've seen people interpreting this as, as Blofeld advising Bond or, or giving him, because that's not really what I picked up from it. For, for me, it's just, mm. I just saw it as, oh, Bond is visiting him again, you know, both was literally in... It's it looks like a bird it, cage. Yeah, no, it's 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 very tiny. It, it's kind of weird. Like I, I think I like Silva's like the test tube thing that they jail that Silva. They had cool. Silva in. But but that, I did the like the, the the mirrors on the side that that. Um, oh yeah yeah the, yeah. The big reflections, but uh, and the the makeup that that's kind of how I believe it or not. The first time I saw a Spectre and I saw that that scar I was like you know if they if they bring him back in in future films which which my guess was immediately in in the uh, cinema I was already thinking like huh, how is this going to look in in the new film when it's right. when it's healed and and it's and the way it was now it's kind of how I always imagined it would be you know kind of you know 
I think it looked pretty cool. If, you know, they they went with the scar, so they have to bring it back. I'm I'm actually maybe I'm controversial on this. I think a lot of people didn't want Waltz back, but I'm glad they didn't cast an, another actor as Blofeld like they did in the past. Always wouldn't that have been cool? <laughs> yeah, for me, yeah, so I'm he, glad I actually finally got someone to play Blofeld twice. That never happened. That's yeah, well, that's a first. Thunderball and from Russia with Love did, but you never saw the face. I think that was both uh, Anthony. Uh, What's his name? Oh, Dawson, okay. Anthony that... Dawson, the guy that played Professor Dent. Yeah, yeah. That was it. He did the he did the voice in the hand. Yeah. Think... but that was uh, it. What would what would you have thought if like they they had Blofeld back in this and like you know Bond he opens the door and you see him in the prison cell and he's in drag like he was in Diamonds Are Forever. <laughs> oh man, that would have been terrible. Yeah, <laughs> jeez, I, I yeah, horrible. So you um, don't think like he's not he, Blofeld isn't is is there? He, he, like the, the way I figured it, it was like he Bond is there to get some information from Blofeld, maybe to like you know Blofeld's gonna like you know start uh, prodding him, saying like you know, giving hints about like you don't know this Madeline, you gave up your life for her, yeah. you don't know the full story about like you know I know more about her than you yeah. do, and that makes sense because you know. Um for Blofeld to know more about her because, you know, he didn't he say, Inspector, that he remembered her being a little girl and, you know, because Mr. White has been a part of the organization for a long time. I think Blofeld said something, you know, he'd known Madeline. He, he definitely Wong, knew the, their histories, both their histories. Yeah. Because he's, he's, we know he's not going to be in this that much. He's probably going to have like the one scene. Could they have made him Blofeld the villain again in this one? Because like uh, he remember, he, I, I, he was the he was the author of all his pain. Yeah. Except except one. this last in except this last final movie. Yeah. It's like he's gonna sit this out. Yeah. I I, I wonder what will happen to him in this film. Cause I I assume and now I know it's not gonna go down that road. I think, but shortly after Spectre, my guess is like okay, the road they're gonna take now is they're doing the Majesty's thing. They're gonna open with Madeline being killed. Blofeld escaping prison. That's that's that was my theory initially. Like that's that's the road I assumed they were going to take with Bond Twenty Five. Now that we know that it's no time to die and and kind of what what's going to happen, it's none of that stuff really ended up happening. It's they went a different path with Blofeld. And you're right, they probably would just have him with the one scene in the in the cell, probably dead. I guess like we all expected that though. That he was just going to be, we knew he was captured and he was alive. And if, when the rumors were that Christoph Waltz was filming uh, No Time to Die, he was, uh, they saw him at the Bond 25 set, that he was going to have like a scene like this, that he was going to yeah. be visited in prison. So it's, it, yeah, in a way it, it was smart. They, they had Christoph Waltz in the trailer. They didn't. They didn't try to hide it this time that he was involved in the movie. They just said, "Okay, yeah, Blofeld. Yeah. Yep, he's in the movie. Yeah, here, here he here, is. Yeah. This is how he's going to be in it." Like they didn't try to do that. Oh no, he's not Blofeld. The Oberhauser kind of trick. Blofeld. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Christoph Waltz. We got him in this. Yeah. Yeah. You got him. There you go. Yeah, but you're right. It's probably it's probably that one little scene. I I did assume like as soon as Remy Malik was announced, like okay, he's going to be kind of like. For example, with Largo, like a number two to Spectre, mm. that, that that is the main villain of this movie, and I still feel like it could be like that. Like Rami Malek probably has a connection to Blofeld or Madeline or both, and he's like either also part of Blofeld's somehow. He he, he I don't think he'll be. I think Blofeld will know about Safin too. Like it's my prediction. You think Safin is definitely going to be a part of Spectre? I don't know if it's necessarily part of Spectre or or the, the pre days of Spectre because he's been around supposedly since the past, like like since Madeline's been a little girl, and I, and we don't know how long Spectre's been around. But I assume like Blofeld. Blofeld knows Safin, like, in some way. I don't know if they're allies with each other, but I think there, there's going to be connections. With, like, Blofeld is not going to be a guy who's in the dark about all this stuff. He knows he knows stuff that's going on about the past of Madeline and about Safin. He, he's aware. 
I think. So he's not going to be like a rogue kind of guy like um, like Silva was. Yeah, well, we thought Silva was a rogue kind of guy, but it turned out Inspector. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Spectre, that, that he was. Yeah, he was connected. <laughs> yeah, sure he was. Yeah. Uh, just just because, uh, yeah, they decided that later. Uh, yep. I'll, I'll ask you kind of this. With Blofeld coming back, like I still maintain that the, the, it was a big mistake them once they get the Spectre rights back, uh, them using it immediately and the ditching Quantum and Mr. White and everything. Because, like, you know, Mr. White, we met him. I think he was, like, one of the first guys that we met in Casino Royale. Yeah. Like, way back then. So, like, you know, he could have been the, the main villain thread in, in in all this if they wanted to do this continuity, which, yeah, you, you know, we know that they, that came afterwards. They didn't play yeah. any of And But before Spectre, that still seemed, you know, before we knew they were going to reuse Spectre, that still seemed like the kind of the road they were going with, uh, with the Craig films. Like, Quantum yeah. was the new Spectre, that, basically. That's what it seemed like. Yeah. So, like, now, like, we're here. They, we know this stuff wasn't planned out and like they're doing the best they can to like make some kind of continuity and connect all this stuff. And if it wasn't Spectre, that movie, and it was like just quantum and Mr. White and now Mr. White is, is incarcerated and Bond is, is uh, in love with a villain's daughter and he finds something out about her past or whatever. And he has to go back to the prison and the door opens up and it's Mr. White sitting there instead of Blofeld, Christoph Waltz. Do you think that would have been, more interesting more powerful like and yeah. plus it's it's his it's not it's not it's not just a villain who grew up with bond when he was a kid this is the father of the woman that bond loves that yeah. he's visiting and he's going to tell her about tell him about like you know you don't know my daughter you don't and, know what and about. also the uh, mr white is also a guy that that you know dealt with with vesper as well so he would have a connection to both his love interests but I think it would have been really interesting, but then only if had not had the Spectre thing not happened, you know, because the way it played out now, you know, with, with him <laughs> killing himself and all. And, yeah. um, and that's the, but yeah, if they, if they didn't have Mr. White in Spectre, and, and I guess, yeah, I guess Spectre just needed to play out a completely different then it would have been interesting to have yeah it would be a completely after, different story yeah, like how because after all these years to, to see him return from quantum but like imagine like you know okay blofeld he i'm the author of all your pain all the women in your life i killed and everything suppose yeah. that was mr white and now we're down to the last craig film and he's in love with the villain's daughter and the yeah. villain mr white is still pissed at bond will he take out the one happiness that Bond found, even if it's his own daughter, just to like you know get his revenge on him. Yeah, yeah, no, that that would be a pretty interesting wrap up because yeah, because yeah, Casino Royale ends with Mister White, kind of that's the start of his tenure, yeah. and, and then it would end with with the same guy as well. Yeah, no, it would have been that I mean, would have worked too. Are they going to reference that Foster brother thing? Say ah, no, no oh, oh, that's a good one. I. F- my even before the the trailer, my theory was because of the backlash of the Forster brother step brother thing, th- that um that they're intentionally not gonna refer back to that. And now that I've seen the trailer, I think it could still be the same. Like they're not gonna, it's not gonna be relevant to this movie. Yeah, especially because they know like most fans, I assume they know, like most fans didn't like that aspect of Spectre. I think they're not even going to refer that yeah. to that part. It's, it's more going to be centered around Madeline's past mm-hmm. this time than Bond's. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be anything about, like, you know, the cuckoo or anything like that. Yeah, no, they're, exactly. they're not going to, they're not even going to touch on it. It's just going to be That's breezed what over. I assume. That's what I assume, yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah, then we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll jump into Lashana. We'll jump yeah. into Lashana. I can see the look on your face. You have a lot to say about Lashana. Oh, I didn't like that bit. It, she, how do I describe this? She just seems a bit too, like I know I like the intention behind a character that puts Bond in in his place because you always got there's always kind of a character like that. Yeah. But with her, the the writing seems it's, her character seems to be solely for that stamp for that agenda. You know, to have Bond be put in his place, to have like a strong, 
you know, black female character, very masculine. Like she, she seems like a lesbian. It, it's, it just seems, you know, it, which is fine, by the way. Just, just, but it's just, it seems so. Um, maybe that's just me. So um, forced. Well, I, I don't think like she, she's a lesbian because I thought in like that interview she said. Uh, well, I mean, her character maybe seems like. Yeah, but like, but like she had said in that interview that she wanted to bring some stuff to her character. Like she wanted to uh, ha have issues with her weight, and she wanted to deal with her boyfriend troubles with oh, her boyfriend or oh, something. Oh, she said I, that in the, the Good Morning America thing. Uh, no, in the the Hollywood Reporter thing, I think. Oh, that's it was mentioned. the tampon thing. It's like oh. I know, like we just focused on the tampon uh, mention that she said, but yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think that I, I think she also said something about like. Yeah, I, I could deal like a character who has issues with her weight and like, you know, has troubles with her boyfriend or something. Yeah. I yeah. don't know, like, you know, how they would incorporate that into her um, shooting up like the bad guy's hideout. Basically and stuff, she, but. Yeah, I like that she wants to make it seem like she's a like every other woman, but that's not the way her character seems like she seems to be like like you said earlier, like the bit where putting bonds in, on in his lane and shooting him in his knee, the, the, yeah. the one that works. So I guess he has one bad knee now. By the way, when she said that, do you take that as like the, that's like a little uh, inside joke to like Craig getting injured on set about his yeah, leg? Yeah, that's what I thought as well. But I, or maybe he will hurt his knee during the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't. Maybe it's me. I don't know. How do you feel about Lashana? By the way, like I, I've said, and you know this, I, I'm not crazy about another person getting a double O seven number yeah yeah that's another thing but, we'll, but that that's we'll we'll get to that um but like you know when i saw the um the trailer and lashana lynch i thought she was the weakest part of the trailer she was the part that i i think i i i, I liked the least yeah same with me she she came off um and i get it like you know it, it's it wouldn't be fun if um Bond is teamed up with someone who just gets along with him, thinks he's the greatest, and like follow follows him along like a good little puppy or anything like that. You want to see some conflict between the characters, and that's yeah. that's cool. And like we've seen that with other Bond girls in the past. Like you know, they always have like you know, like you go back to Pussy Galore. She didn't like Bond at the start, and like gave no. gave it back uh, to him. Um, most of them don't initially. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all it's always like that. But for some reason. Uh, I don't think her lines were very clever. She came off very exactly. It's 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 you see that and it's like oh this is Phoebe Waller Bridge, you know. I it, maybe maybe it's like like I like you know me like I don't know about Phoebe and um like what no, she. No, I'm not. Oh, by the way, me neither. But I I just mean like I I do know that she wants to get this strong woman feminist thing going and that's why i thought like yeah, oh, yeah. this is the writing sh shining true now um, she came off like very arrogant and cocky and like yeah. you know, i think there was just like she only had we only saw her i don't know she she had like two little lines in it i think the the shoot your leg or stay out of your stay out of my lane and stuff and yeah. already i immediately felt boy i hope this this uh, character gets her comeuppance she seems yeah. like you know she's deserving of like uh, like somebody that I'm going to be kind of frustrated and annoyed watching. And exactly, uh, I, exactly. Th th that's kind of what I mean. And like you said, I hope you know she'll maybe she'll get like a really cool moment or like a like a change of mind later in the movie that that makes you like her more because because you know this this cocky to me it's yeah. I don't know. How it, to feel about it. Yeah, it it wasn't it wasn't even like, like I could enjoy a cocky character, who, um, but it the it, it almost she almost started to seem like to me, you remember like Jinx in Die Another Day and how unbelievably arrogant and like you know, just overly cocky and like uh, she yeah. seemed like, uh, and like it it didn't come off cool or anything. It came off. Um, more annoying, and like I just like I dis I it just made me dislike her. Yeah, but you know, she she was important for the the windage thing and stuff like that. So, oh yes, yes, yeah. the windage. <laughs> she she provided that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, but but the, but yeah, but yeah. And maybe maybe this is not appropriate, but 
at least Jinx was very hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> least, I know, I know. You know, she's easier <laughs> on the eyes, and I, you know, and yeah. Uh, I was just uh, hoping like her character was going to be pretty good, and right now, I'm getting a vibe that she's going to be like a platonic Jinx. She's going to be yeah. like an annoying, cocky character that Bond's going to deal with, but he's That's not going to. That's my vibe sleep. I get from her as well. Uh, yeah. But oh like, no! I, oh, I can't imagine Bond would. Um, you know, her that would probably diminish the whole point of her being more. You know, there, there's no off. way if, if Bond bangs her. That yeah, that will there's be, no way. There's no th th that, that would ne take they, care they of her. her he's he, he's <laughs> not going to get. Yeah, he's not going to get horizontal with her. There's no. there's no way in hell. No. There's no way. Anna, like he might maybe he'll, as you uh, so eloquently put it, bang. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but, but I, yeah, um, the double O thing—that's still an interesting subject. Because uh, okay. what do you think? Because because it's there, there were rumors they changed her um, her number to double O one now, um, and in the trailer there is the part where M says, "Where's double O seven? Do you think he's referring to to Bond or to to Nomi when he says, "Where's double O seven? Do, do you still think they're they're gonna go with? this thing or well what's your like, take on this they never officially confirmed that she's 007 i know oh. they never officially confirmed it she's she's been like coy about it saying like you know oh like you, you 007 or she, she doesn't really answer yeah. so um i think the, the general assumption assumption is that she's 007 even though they never confirmed it yeah when they start when this came out that they said oh they're going to change it to 001 um which to me it signals to me if they could just change her agent number at the drop of a hat like that because they saw yeah. like you know fans were getting angry it, it it signals to me how unimportant it was to give her the yeah. 007 number yeah they probably um, they probably changed it in post production yeah yeah if, yeah if they if they did like yeah they'll do uh like some dubbing or something uh to like cover it <laughs> you know um uh, yeah, we have a mission for you, 001. You know, yeah, like, yeah, don't, like, don't, like really, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> like uh, but uh, what, with that shot, and it, it was it was kind of slick, because you do some video editing too. It was yeah. kind of slick when Ray Fine says, where's 007? And it cuts to Daniel Craig. We see Daniel Craig in the next shot. So exactly. automatically, yeah. everybody assumes, oh, he's talking about 007. Yeah. I don't think in the movie he's he's talking about Daniel Craig. He's yeah, not talking so, about so he, Okay, so your assumption is in the movie, 007, at least in the beginning, it, it might be Nomi. It, it's Nomi. He's talking about Nomi, and that's okay, I think okay. like that's that's the big popcorn dropping moment that like we've heard about. Like, uh, where's 007? And then walks this uh, beautiful black woman. Yeah, that's yeah. 007. I think that's yeah. like the big. The okay, big so you still think they're gonna go? Yeah, I don't know where the rumors came from. The double her being 007 came from uh, you know the the film set thing where um, Prince uh, what's his name Prince Harry who was it Prince Charles Prince Charles Charles you I always know get the that royal, I always royal get family come on everybody royal, knows that yeah so Prince Charles <laughs> uh, on the set that's where the 007 thing came from and then later supposedly because of the backlash they changed it to 001 yeah. we'll see we'll see I I I think. Maybe they, they, I could believe that they, they changed it back to 001, but like I said, when in the trailer so early on, where's 007? That does seem like a bit uh, where, where she could be referring to Nomi. And, yeah, and the door could, opens and Nomi yeah, walks in. Yeah. And, and, and I said, I said this before, if, if in fact they, they're, I, I don't, I think she's going to be 007. I don't think, like, I think it's just rumor that, like, oh, they're going to change it to 001. I don't know that's where that, if that came from a tabloid uh, paper or whatever, but yeah, uh, in a way, I hope that they don't backpedal on it and don't change her to 001 yeah. because they they started this. They started the 007 thing, and like you know, it's out there now. And I think it's her being 007 has already clouded a lot of like the general audience's perception of what this movie is going to be. I yep. see like comments on like uh, uh, just like from just general like moviegoers, and they still think that uh, they just changed James Bond to a black woman. Exactly. I, I even had some friends saying like, "Hey, how do you feel about the Bond being a black woman now?" It's like that's not true. 
I mean, some people re really associate 007 yeah. is Bond, so 007 is black woman equals oh oh this is big, but they they don't realize that it's that they're talking about you know the 007 yeah. code name. Like so, like, like when in that in the trailer, they, that might have been very intentional the way they cut that. When, yeah. Like he says, hey, where's 007? And then we see Daniel Craig. That's to, like you know reassure. Maybe not not just fans, but the general audience who's who are confused by all this stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. he's 007. He's still 007. Exactly. And then like he 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 just says he says to her, uh, uh, "You're a double O," and she says, "Oh yeah. yeah, for like two years." Yeah. He doesn't say she doesn't say yeah I'm 007. Exactly. Or, and I think you're, oh so you're I my replacement. I think it's a good move that they didn't reveal it in the trailer because imagine if 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 she is in fact 007 and that was in the trailer. How the, the the backlash would have been more negative, maybe, and we yeah. still have four months to go to the movie. Yeah. I think it's that, good that, that they they left it a secret. That, that would have like is. yeah, if if like they said like oh you're double you're a double O yeah for two years I'm now double O seven or whatever yeah. and, and we we got that confirmed. I I think that would have caused more um more controversy, and that I th I don't think they want any more of that involved exactly. in this film they've gone through a lot a lot of problems Exa exactly and my my thought still is even if she is 007 it'll just be uh in this movie and she won't be i i can't imagine they'll go by the end of the movie there are rumors that they filmed three different endings and one of the endings is her becoming the new 007 i can't imagine they'll they'll do anything like that like like she'll be the new because because you can't because she's not james bond she's no yeah. so there's no way no, this, this, it, even if she's yeah if, it, even if she's 007 and like uh james bond retires again in this we're never going to see her again Exa exactly <laughs> the, it, yeah we're never going to see her again we're never yeah. going to see any spin-off or uh, her my, to my show guess up is again bond 26 will be a reboot uh, yeah there's there's a whole different subject there but but so i think this this, even if she's 007, it'll just be this film. That's my uh, my guess. Yeah, on yeah Bond question. 26. It none of not. It's not going to continue anything from the this series exactly. of Craig movies. Exactly. All, this is the, the only thing. This probably, is the wrap up. Yeah. And and that's what Fuganaga said as well in in the Good Morning America thing. Like, um, you know, he he talked about you know trying to wrap up this 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 whole saga in a in a, a entertaining way. So I really feel like this is this is the end of, of this whole arc, yeah. and and next is going to be a clean slate again. Yeah, I think like the the only thing we'll see from the Craig movies are going to be like Ray Fiennes, Ben Whishaw, and Naomi Harris, and maybe yeah, like uh, e even Kinnear maybe Park, even you know. e maybe they will even be rebooted. I don't think I don't think they. Yeah, I don't. Maybe. Yeah, it, that's going to be interesting. I wouldn't to see. mind if they if they return, but I wouldn't mind if they'll just end up being. The Scooby Gang of the Craig films, and, and basically, and um, I, for a new actor to come in, if they, they might not have the same kind of chemistry that Craig has, exactly, with, like, so, those, those actors, and it really depends on what they're doing with Bond Twenty Six too. But that's that's a, a subject for another time, I think. Yeah, that that's that's so, in like fifteen years when they finally get to that one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I know. I'll be forty around that time. <laughs> but but um, anyway, basically, Lashana Lynch. We pretty much said all we wanted about yeah, her. Yeah, I mean, uh, so, uh, well, I'll I'll wait and see on her. I'm not feeling exactly, yeah. any better about her in this than um, exactly than I did before. Hopefully, she'll happily surprise us. Maybe you know, because because I, I would I would like that. You know, if I just end up being some whiny guy that, that complained too soon. Yeah. But um, we'll see. What do you think in the in the actual title sequence of the film? Are they gonna go with? Uh, Daniel Craig as James Bond's 007. Yeah. Or is that going to yeah. be changed? That that's one of the things I'm going to be looking for. If it if if the text says Daniel Craig is Ian Fleming's James Bond 007. Because I, if, I mean it must be. I mean it's that's because, a big thing if that's changed and that hasn't never changed. Because if they do open it like that, that's going to signal to me that he's going to get the 007 number back. At yeah. some point in the movie, if if he doesn't, if they open it with that text and he doesn't get the 007 number at the end, or, then I'm going to feel like they're lying to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, I think they probably, 
they're in post-production now. They're probably having this discussion themselves. <laughs> no, no joke. You, if 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 yeah. Nomi, assuming Nomi is 007, and you know now they're they're in talks with Kleiman doing the the assuming Kleiman does the titles again. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. Yeah, they're like okay, so Kleiman's gonna ask like, can I go with the Ian Fle Ian Fleming uh, James Bond 007 thing or you know. I really wonder if if there, there there's got to be in talks about that stuff, you know. What are uh, what are they going to do with this? Yeah, it, to me that that's going to be a clue. To me, um, that text, if that text is there, Ian Fleming's James Bond 007, that's going to be a clue to me. Yeah. How how this is going to end? Yeah. Um, like that Nomi's going to get killed off, and then like Emma say, okay, Bond, it's good to have you back. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I um, I'm gonna be looking. I, I I'm I, that that's, that's definitely that's been on my be, mind. That's gonna be an interesting thing to look out for in April because we know the film will start out with him being retired. He's not 007 at the beginning of the film because he's he's not he's not in the service at the at that point. We know that. So then the title sequence. What what's it gonna say? So very interesting. Uh, because I think every Bond film. He's Ian Fleming's James Bond 007. Every, yeah, it's never been and, different. So in this one, is it just going to be Ian Fleming's James Bond? And they're just going to purposely leave out the 007? I think they... they, they could they should, do that? They, they could at least be discussing that right now, like wh whether or not they, they they want to get that out of there. And it's it's going to be curious. Who knows? But Anna de Armas, on the other hand... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know she's in this movie? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. The funny thing is, um, one of my favorite films, I, I, I think I've seen it, saw it like 12, 13 times, War Dogs, she's in there. Right. And um, and I've always joked, like, like oh, I would like to see Anna de Armas as a Bond girl, but it was kind of never too serious, but, but I always liked her look. And then... That you could even I uh, my friend unintentionally filmed my uh, secretly filmed my reaction to um, the Jamaica reveal where where she right. was revealed to be in it and you you literally see me sit like the whole thing is boring and then you know all the names come up it's like out of the hours and you see me go oh <laughs> like this you know so and it's funny to look back at it because that's genuinely my my reaction of her it, that was not faked because it's literally me watching it live <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're excited so, about her participation yeah right? no absolutely she's around my age too so no this, oh, yeah. uh, she's good looking yeah <laughs> no it's uh, but uh, but i like i said in my uh, my video of, of of um, discussing her, uh, the, the, my reaction to the trailer. Like, I think she's just going to be in it for a, sh a very short screen time, yeah. which is a shame. I hope she gets more than the sexy dress and the Uzis. But uh, I think I think that's it. Hopefully, hopefully we'll we'll see more of her. But I think you know, Nomi is the main one, uh, and there's also Madeline. There's a lot going on with her. So uh, it seems like like this this movie is going to be pretty jam-packed already yeah There's like a lot of story so she's probably just some 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 chick he, he runs across in cuba or or jamaica probably cuba and, and in, that, she, in that club scene or something you think she's she's gonna be a bad uh yeah a bad that's girl? that's what i was thinking like wouldn't that be interesting if because we haven't had like a femme fatale in any of Craig's films, like a, like a real like, I don't think she'll be Xenia on the top bad because because I'm she might be on Craig's side again. She doesn't seem yeah. necessarily evil in the trailer. She seems to be just some mysterious chick that shows up. Um, what's her character name again? Pa Paloma. Um, Paloma. Pa yeah, Paloma. Yeah, yeah. Paloma. But um, yeah, no, my she could be a bad chick, but. I think she looks too innocent for for it to be a femme fatale. Uh, who knows? But the guns make her look pretty badass, though. But I can't imagine that's that's what they're gonna do with her. I think the, she'll just be some renegade chick. The that thing is, like you know, like they're shows up. they're so eager about like you know, hey, we want to create Bond women, 
and uh, you know get away from this Bond girl stuff, and they 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 want to use these uh, characters as like you know almost like role models and yeah. all, all this stuff. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they would even go so far to make her bad, or if that's a negative. You know what I mean? Like, like you know. Oh yeah. Wait, we, we got we got a Bond woman here. We don't want to make her a, a villainess. We want to make her like somebody. Yeah, positive. I haven't even I haven't even made that political yet. Of course, I, I should have. But um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I might be overthinking it. But like you know, like you make a good point. They didn't, haven't had really a femme fatale, a real no, evil femme fatale. Not in the Craig right? films. Like like yeah, you had like in, no in Casino Royale. Didn't, yeah, maybe the the. Like the blonde chick in Casino Royale that, that was with Lashiv was kind of, but you know, she didn't really do much. I don't even think she on spoke. Lashiv's did, side. did she even I, speak a word in that movie? Uh, no, I, I mean, maybe she cried when she was like really minor, like really yeah. minor character. So, exactly. So, that, so that doesn't really count. Quantum didn't have one, Skyfall didn't have one. Like, Severn was more of a fiction. She was like, yeah. More mysterious kind of victim. Yeah, kind of she was on the villain side, but she was killed by him too. So, uh, yeah. Well, in Casino, uh, Salah. Well, she wasn't even really. Salah was, was also killed by the villain. Yeah, she yeah. she was she was more a victim too. Yeah, I'm very curious what what's he's playing. Like, is he is he a secret agent too, or is he some renegade out for revenge, or is he? I'm very. Uh, who knows. I, I really think it's just going to be a short. Like we haven't seen her in anything different than a dress. Maybe that's yeah. the only outfit she'll wear. And like I had heard, like they they uh, I think Fukunaga, uh, it was like kind of the last minute that she was cast. That's why in the reveal, she she was like kind of confused, saying like, "How should I play this part, Carrie?" And he says, "Oh, just wing it." They didn't even like know what kind of part she was going to be playing yet. And so yeah. it was almost like they, they, they she came in at almost at the tail end of exactly, and she they kind of put her in. I think in Jamaica she still had no idea what she was even playing. Yeah, so it might be like you know just like a small part that she's gonna. It's not gonna be a major part because it was already that story had yeah. already been like you know yeah. structured. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting off track here. I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to include this part. <laughs> There's no way out. Oh man! Um, and I, the, the good thing is, I'm having alcohol with it too. It's really funny <laughs> enough. <laughs> it's almost um, two a.m. here, and I'm having a blast. 